Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on The Fight Game. When a boxer enters the boxing ring, his primary goal is quite simple, to win by any means necessary. Run till I drop, till I reach the top. I go all the way and I don't stop, don't stop. Do what I do when I'm on the move and I'm coming in fast. Can you keep up, keep up? A boxer will throw hundreds of punches in a boxing fight, but nothing gets fans jumping out of their seats like an unexpected one-punch knockout. Ready or not, now here I come. Better get yourself up, get ready, ready. Hot like a sauna, gonna bring the heat. Better hold on steady, can you keep up, keep up? Foot on the brake, gonna hit the gas, gonna rev it on up. Now I'm coming in fast, I'll make the swerve when I hug the turns. Better get out the kitchen, cause you're gonna get burned, yeah. Every boxing fan knows the feeling. You're watching a fight, watching closely their every move, debating who's winning the fight. And then someone scores the money shot, making all else irrelevant. For all the gallantry one might show, the undeniable stopping power of a perfectly placed shot is, and always will be, a non pareil form of entertainment in the sports world. In this video, we take a look at 15 of those moments. Naoya Inoue is one of the pound-for-pound -pound best, known as the Japanese monster, and holds undeniable power. This knockout entails a right hand to the chin from an unusual angle. Typically, it is dangerous to step inside a southpaw's lead foot, as it brings you closer to their back hand. But doing it can create unexpected angles, of which the opponent does not anticipate. Watch here how Inoue jabs under his opponent's lead hand, not over to ensure a clear path for the right hand. Murat Gassiev was perhaps the hardest puncher in the cruiserweight division. Good job, jabbing, moving out of the range. Oh, oh, big shot that Punching from your waist is not often advised, but doing so at the right time can prove incredibly rewarding. Gassiev's hook comes from an angle of which is out of his opponent's field of view, becoming a punch with gargantuan power and shock factor. David Lemieux is a very powerful puncher, but he doesn't really disguise his power punches and is therefore predictable. But when they do land, opponents fall. His left hook is his best punch, knocking Curtis Stevens out cold, stepping in fully to generate lots of power. This knockout from Devin Haney is just savage. And now Haney's got the fire in his eyes! A one-hitter quitter! Devin Haney! The overhand right is likely the hardest punch one can throw, as the transfer of weight and the elastic snap of the shoulder is maximized. Let's take another look at a knockout with this same punch by Iron Mike Tyson. Right now he's trying to fight Mike Tyson. He should be doing a lot more movement than he is now. He's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. It's the compounded power generated from the feet to the forearms, channeled through the lateral swing from right to left, which makes this punch one of the most devastating. Gervonta Davis is one of the brightest future stars in the sport of boxing, and his fights with Leo Santa Cruz produced one of the most vicious knockouts ever. Arms of champions! Davis thought Santa Cruz was going to fall from his... The left uppercut is one of Davis's signature punches, and it's one of pure destruction. Watch how Davis, a southpaw, utilizes the orthodox stance, leaning out to the left to throw this crazy uppercut. Gervonta Davis is the absolute embodiment of relentlessness. Povetkin's knockout of Dillian White was unexpected, but not surprising. Going a bit, the legs slower. Take nothing away from a very good one. Big shot. shot from Alexander Povetkin, and he's knocked Dillian White cold here. Watch the subtle touch with the lead hand. Then he sits down and puts his weight on his lead leg. Then pushes off that weight with a massive left uppercut. White was likely expecting a hook to the body, but a piercing uppercut through the center knocks him out. Julian Jackson is one of the hardest punchers in boxing history. However, he's actually a very calculated boxer, and he's made a habit of finding openings at just the right time. Again. Oh, there's a right hand. He won't get up from this one, I don't think. 
This punch is for sure mind-boggling. Landing a punch from this position requires very good spatial awareness and timing. Jackson knew there was an opening from feeling his opponent's left hand land on the side of his face. A right hand over the top is the perfect counterattack in such a circumstance. Next up, we've got the infamous gazelle punch from Floyd Patterson. Here in round five. And there it goes! The gazelle punch is just another name for a leaping hook springing off the ground and unleashing a hook mid-air in a surprise attack. Golovkin has what many like to call heavy-handed power, but this knockout was purely explosive. A ripping right hand to the face knocks his opponent out. Watch how Golovkin drags his back foot into a shift to fully focus on pushing his weight forward into the punch. Israel Madrimov is a boxer from Uzbekistan and is my personal favorite prospect in the sport right now. Here Madrimov punches after a roll, channeling the force he generates by pushing his feet off the ground through to his fist. Madrimov is definitely a boxer to watch for in the future. He's young, strong and hungry for a world title. Michael Nunn was known as a back foot boxer, but this knockout was very impressive. Colin Bay. Colin Bay is by nature. Oh my! Left hand. It's an unorthodox versus southpaw showdown. It's always advantageous to have your lead foot outside your opponents. Here, Nunn gets his lead foot on the outside, setting up a positive position for the left hand to be thrown. Nunn deflecting his opponent's jab with his elbow almost jolts his opponent even more to the inside. A great knockout made possible through positive positioning. Watch here how Jermel Charlo scores a very similar knockout. Sledge, his nickname of course is Hammer, but 11 of his knockouts. Oh, oh, Charlo just dropped Lubin! When a boxer gets his foot on the outside like this, it's typical for the inside boxer to duck as they anticipate a right hand. However, Charlo knew this. He throws an uppercut to the body, anticipating Lubin to duck into the punch, therefore landing it flush on the chin. Charlo makes sure to keep an eye on Lubin at all times as he executes the attack. The quick step to the outside instantly puts Charlo in a great position in relation to his opponent. Lubin was not in a position to attack. His only option was to take evasive action, and Charlo capitalized on that. Alexander Povetkin is a classical heavyweight power puncher. Phenomenal times for the big boys of Povetkin with a right hand and a left hook lays out David Price. The tail's in. He won't make it. Here, Povetkin disorientates David Price with a right hand, leaving himself fully exposed to the full force of Povetkin's left hook. Here's another one-punch knockout from Naoya Inoue. As round seven. Oh, the big right hand! From Naoya the backhand while slipping your head out is a great punch to throw when your opponent also throws a backhand. By just moving your head that tiny amount, you make your opponent miss while you're the one to land. Inoue also practiced this move in training camp. That was 15 incredible knockouts. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. If you'd like to see a part two to this video, let us know in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video here on The Fight Game.